All right, this is a Qu Luminous Plume, an action RPG that appears to be made in some kind of RPG maker. One of the JavaScript ones, I'm not quite sure. The file structure looks similar to RPG Maker MV and MZ. Difficulty level. Nightmare, it's really hard. Champion's Crown. Looks like it'll be my turn soon. Maybe I should warm up a bit. Why to jump left stick to move? I actually played a little bit before, but my audio got screwed up, so that kind of sucks. You can save out when there's no enemies on the field. Next round. The rules are the same as ever, right? I just gotta pummel every enemy in my way until there aren't any left. Okay, now I have to guard right before damage. But... Problem is, guarding is not, cannot be... Not everything cancels into guarding very well. So, if you're in the middle of attack, you cannot really flash guard easily. Okay. Ow. Okay, do I have that skill to... I don't know. I might not be able to recover hit points. Uh, can I recover hit points while idle? Or is that something I can only get later? Okay, I can actually do it now. This is important to do between rounds, otherwise you will probably get killed horribly. Hmm, should I try and use some text? They're pretty useful, but... Well, I guess there's no reason not to. I just need to be careful not to use up too much aura. Okay. Direction A button. Air slash. Air slash is good from a distance. Here we go. Okay. Okay. I heard these guys so chunky. Holy moly. Okay, use menu to remap stuff if needed. Damn it, why do you have to... I can't guard while using arts. You're not finished yet. Okay, leveled up. I got a save healing save point. All right. Just right now, this game kind of feels like a janky version of Tales and Ease.
And once again, despite his casual appearance, Raven has quickly made fools of our Coliseum regulars. You think these casual clothes are just a fashion statement? It's as hot as Mount Orison here. Perhaps his next spoken put up more of a challenge. We're about to find out. What's the setting record of 38 wins and 0 losses? She's also undefeated. Give up for Valerie. Well, she certainly looks confident. Sandals. Why is she glaring at me like that, though? I can't say I appreciate it. And so we shall begin the match between Raven and Valerie. Fighters, are you ready? Fight! Wow, you're not half bad. I'm impressed. Yeah, you too. I guess you're taking this seriously after all. Of course I'm taking this seriously. That puts the food on the table somehow, you know? Well, if you say so, ready for another round? As I'll ever be. Ugh. Ah, that was bad. Damn. Yeah. Just barely butched it there. Yeah. Now hold the match. Huh? What? It pains me to say this, but I'm afraid we're out of time for this round. My sincerest apologies to the audience, but in order to keep the things rolling here, we'll be calling the match a draw for today. Combatants, please make your way out of through the East Gate. The draw by timeout didn't even know that could happen. Though this fight has been dragging on for a while now, I suppose they have other matches they need to get to before the day ends. Well, Sandal Boy, looks like it's a draw for today. Yeah, seems like it. You fight well, though. Not like the other, is he trained somewhere? Yeah, something like that. But more importantly, what's that weird energy coming from you? Oh, you can sense that? I mean, I guess so. It's called Aura, isn't it? I've heard of it before, but it doesn't seem like many people can use it. Well, everyone has it, but... I... Hard to explain? Yeah, kind of. But aren't you using Aura too? You're using named uh, uh, techniques, so that means you're using some kind of AP system too, aren't you, Valerie? If we really want to know, let's continue this back in the lobby. 
you know, before we get yelled at by the crowd. Right. I'll go on ahead and wait for you then. Well, our previous challengers exit the battleground, our next match of spiders are on their way, so stay right where you are. These next two commands are veterans here at Champion's Crown, and this will be their 12th time facing each other. Stage clear. Ah, skip for a result screen, but I probably did really bad. I was one hit away from death. Why is it so dark in here? Did the arena run out to torches or something? I can barely see a spirit's line in front of me. Not to mention I can't hear any footsteps, even though Valerie shouldn't be that far ahead of me. Yeah, something's going on here. But why? I can sense people's presence nearby, but it's like they're trying to ambush me. Guess I'll play along for now. Shield. Ugh, are we seriously doing this? Quit your griping, well, grunts like us can't afford to gripe. They'll just do as we've been told and drag them underground already. But that place is scary, sir. I heard it's infested with brutes. Only deeper into it, you coward. It's nothing to freak out over. And for now, it's the closest thing to a prison cell we got. Oh, really? I heard. I was wearing here before they shut down the mining operations for a few years back, so take it from me. I don't know what they want from these two whelps, but they should be safe as long as they sit tight and wait to be picked up. And after that, it's none of our problem. Stop worrying. Right. Um, what about their weapons? We'll drop them off at the storage room on our way here. Now step to it. Sir. Sometime after. Crystal Cavern. That's about all I know. Okay, I believe the part about being taken to an underground cavern, but only because I'm in one now. What kind of idiot suspects he's going to be ambushed and lets it happen? Hey, no need to get sassy with me. If I could find them right there, I'd have missed my chance to figure out what they were trying to do. And yet in the end, you learn about uh, absolutely nothing, because they were both just grunts following orders. So where does that put us now? Well, it's not like I could have known that beforehand. The op after they get captured instead, and now we're both stuck here and don't even know why. Fine, you're right. I should have just bailed and let you get dumped here by yourself. At least then I wouldn't have to suffer your constant whining. Seems to be you then, because it doesn't look like either of us are getting out of here anytime soon. Speak for yourself, purple head. Is that... a key? Sure is. Should even open that door up the stairs. You! You stole it! Wait, you weren't lying about pretending to be unconscious. The word of a thief probably doesn't mean much, but no, I wasn't. Then, how? You asked about Aura earlier, right? Related to that, actually. How much do you know about it? Uh, not much, but... Aura's like your inner energy, right? Yeah, pretty much. Normally it's both invisible and powerless, but a channel enough of it and you can strengthen your, both your offense and defense. And how exactly did that help you? Well, you can control Aura without moving, so... Block your attack using my Aura, then pretend to be knocked out. That's all there was to it. Sounds awfully convenient. Do you use that power when we were fighting? Not really, no. I see. That would have helped a lot. Oh, I thought you'd be a little upset hearing that. Why should I? Once I learn how to use my Aura, the playing field will be even. Not to mention your swordsmanship is fairly mediocre. Ha! Huh. Well, aren't you competitive? But first things first. Take this key and go get your sword back. What about you? Aren't you coming? Actually, I'm kind of cur curious about this cavern. I can sense something, familiar at the end of it. So I'm going to head to in deeper to explore, but you go on ahead. Oh yeah, one of the men said our weapons are in the storage room. Just, just use the key to head right in. I don't suspect there will be any guards around, but you seem like you'd be fine even if there were. Assuming you're not ambushed again, anyway. I'll try not to be, Sentinel boy. But how are you going to explore without a weapon? Didn't you say there were brutes in here? Yeah, there are, but if it's my sword you're talking about... I've got it right here. How did you do that? Call it one of the perks of using Aura. A neat little trick, if you will. This one's called Recall, which is basically just a fancy name for moving objects from one place to another. So you warp the sword from the storage room to your hand. Right, but I can only use it on objects I've marked with my Aura. Meaning, I couldn't warp your sword to me because I haven't actually marked it. I see. I have a lot to absorb, but... Do you use the same trick for the key? Recall it from the guards of yourself or something? Hey, you catch on quick. They noticed if I stole it before I locked the door of it, and it's not like I could swipe it from them once I did. So I marked it with my aura and warped it to me once I left. Clever, huh? Actually, it kinda is. Perhaps I misjudged you. Ha. Huh. I'm flattered, purple head. Valerie. Hmm. You mind Val for short? Do yourself, and you're a raven, right? 
Oh, so you weren't just calling me Sandal Boy because you didn't know my name. The announcer did say it, but... Huh, well, not like I can talk. Anyway, I'm going to head on in now. Try not to get yourself killed. Wait, once you're done, teach me how to use this aura. Huh? What's this all of a sudden? Please, I want to get stronger. You're already plenty strong if you ask me. Please. Well, if you can find me after I escape here, I'll link about it then. Really? Yes, I'm off then. Don't go dying until you train me. Huh. I only said I'd link about it, you know? That's an or inorganic type brute. Not very often I see those. If it attacks me while I'm vulnerable, it definitely won't be pretty. Might want to use shield like I did a bit earlier. Use L t to temporarily nullify damage, but it costs AP and decreases attack power while active. Okay. Yeah, you can. For normal enemies, you can do that, but for bosses, they can wipe out your AP quickly if you try to shield them. Oh no. Okay, got new skills. Psych, increase automatic AP recovery. I don't know why it looks like it's split into two menus, though. Yeah, this one I already had from the start, which is why I was able to heal between rounds. Increase AP, uh, automatic AP recovery. Yeah, but I'll have to stand still for that to work. Okay. I need even more AP recovery, though. That's not a bad start. Yeah. Okay, I can change selected enemy with right trigger. Ha! 
Open the chest for new equipment. Demo Pope. Slightly increases damage output as users' hit point decreases. That's what I sense. It's getting stronger. It must be getting closer. I'm up for a little melee. Hey. Hmm. Hold down before jumping the soft jump and press down midair to fast fall. Press down while guarding on a platform to fall through it. Dice of uncertainty. Increases variation of attack damage. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Does it actually help my DPS in the long run? Seems like such a weird effect to have. Oh yeah, I forgot to check. It, it, these, uh, these chests actually do have messages in them. I didn't check the first one. Oh well. 
I don't feel like going back to it, though. I think I may have a clip showing what the message was, but I'll have to dig it up. It was from when I... My first attempt at recording when my mic failed for some reason. So you're le leaving crystal shards inside for the next person. Alright, here's the empty chest that I miss. Picking an empty chest, are you? I hope you don't develop any odd habits. Oh, why don't my A key work? Oh, weird. Maybe I'm not close enough to the target. What's in the glitch? I don't know. They stale moves. Using the same technique too much can decrease its effectiveness against enemies. Try diversifying your attacks to keep them at their full power. Some chests may appear after fulfilling certain conditions. If you see a puzzle, try to solve it to make the secret chest appear. Resonator. The chest grieves for its lost treasure, but you fail to hear it. Increase critical hit chance of all attacks by 5%. Yeah, there's no doubt about it. It's not a person, but I felt this presence before. The way I am now. And there's a save point. Why? Why is it here? What is it doing here? Crystal Calamity. It's... it's awake! The four harbingers of calamity! Autonomous man-made creatures capable of manipulating aura. But... it's nowhere near as powerful as it before. Was it here to garret aura? If that's the case, then... it seems I have no choice. Before you regain your power, I'll take you down for good. Yeah. 
Ha Gotcha! It was close. Seriously, that that multiple ice pillar move really sucks. It multi hits and can pretty much take down your entire shield instantly. I did it! I beat it! But for it should be just dormant here and for me to just find it. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it was a stroke of luck. If it remained hidden, the possibilities are endless. So I. Yeah, I, it's weakened, it, but yeah, I barely beat it. Now things are just got really complicated though. Why in the world was one of the calamities in an underground cavern? If someone brought it here, then to what end? And how'd they even find it? Or control it? Ugh, I'm exhausted. It must be a fair bit past evening now. Dwelling in on it further seems fruitless, so I might as well head back. Stage clear. I did a pretty shit job, though. Ugh. Anything in particular stick out to you? Maybe some kind of commotion? Peace and quiet here, though. I can't say how long it'll last. I'd be fine if it lasted forever myself. What, did something happen recently? No, just a stray thought. Can't hurt to stay vigilant, can it? Hmm. Won't worry if you there. Guess I'll keep my eyes peeled for ya. Thanks, Galfon. I'll see you around then, yeah? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Anytime, lad. No talk with suspicious people or strange happenings. I know that's a good thing, but I'm seriously out of leads here. Might have no choice. Did I head back to the Coliseum? Feels like I'm walking right into a trap, but... The only thing I know for sure is that whoever wanted me kidnapped has ties to that place. And whoever that is might know something about why that monstrosity was lurking underground. Their guard will be up after Abelio and I escaped, but it's better than just waiting for something to happen. Guess I'm decided then. Once I'm done here, I'll head back to Champion's Crown and see what happens. Southlight Village? I can't run this village, the heck? But I can still use my menu. Hmm. Grandpa's always like this. All he ever does is yell at me. That was never just mean to me. Don't be a fool. Only idiots will want to learn how to use a sword. You want to get yourself hurt, do you? Why not help your poor mother at home? You're the dumb one, Gramps. You can't do anything when the monsters attack. The knights are more, way more useful than you. I'm gonna grow strong just like them, and then I'll protect this village. You fool. Cut it out already. I won't let you. It's a way to run? Living on the outskirts of Pralia means having to fend for ourselves against any brutes that wander near the village. But with many of the young men women here having passed away in the battle against the Calamities, well, we've had no choice lately but to ask the royal knights for their help. Our taxes to the city have gone up as a result, but it's better than living in fear. Sorry I couldn't be of more help to you, lad. Don't mention it, you do plenty already. And I'll probably be back soon to get my sword sharpened. Ha, getting some use out of it, are you? Come back any time, lad. You can count on me. I think this is... Oh, there's one more person. I've lived here my whole life and seen a lot of people come and go. 
But as a whole, the village hasn't changed that much. Doing everything we can to we can to get by day by day, night by night. Even when the foreigners came, they blend right in. As if though they'd been struggling with us the whole time. Maybe struggling is just the fate of us common folk, no matter where we're from or what era we live in. I've started to think that way. Hmm. I think this would be a good place to, uh, to end the episode, huh? In this nice, tranquil village that's probably going to get destroyed by a monster attack sometime soon. Thanks for tuning in to this Let's Play of Luminous Plume. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe, and or hit the bell icon. 